and Jeremy Bullock both are playing from Star Wars. And I go to yodanews.com. Hey everybody, it's Mark from yodasnews.com and gentlegiantcollectors.com and today we're bringing you a first review and unboxing of the Knights of the Old Republic Darth Malak collectible statue. This is coming out shortly from uh, Gentle Giant. It's a PBM exclusive. Give you a look at the exterior box. And the jaw is removable on the statue. We'll go ahead and see it when we unbox it so you could uh, pick how you'd like to display it. This had a lunar edition run of, I believe, 900. So there you go, we still have the standard packaging. You can see marked with the PBM exclusive down there. Now these will be available to our premium guild members at GentleGiantLED.com approximately 30 days after they're officially released from PBM. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. We'll take a look at how he's packaged and go from there. I just wanna do a quick break in to show you how he's packaged. Uh, a lot of collectors like to see that for whenever they have to go ahead and repack them or store them away. It's one basically solid piece in the middle. See the two uh, metal rods on his legs. The base is on the side. At the top, we've got the lightsaber and the removable jaw. Okay, go ahead and unpack them and we'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and fully assembled Darth Malak, and as you can see, I did put the jaw piece in. It is removable, and I'll go ahead and give you a shot of it after. But I'm gonna give you some close-ups. The paint detail on this one is really nice. You get some really nice deep contrast in the eyes, and the red and maroon and kind of black shading all together really works well. They did a really great job on the mini bust, and uh, another great job they've done on the statue here. As you can see, he's in pretty cool pose. Turn him around here, give you a shot of the back. And you got the waving cape behind him. You have the classic base that you get with most of the statues these days. Move it around a little further here. Show you an angle from the back. Give you a close up of the hilt. Really, really nice detail. Paint applications on it are really well done. I don't really see any misses or any anything at all. I mean, the lines are really clean all over the whole piece. One of the comments I get sometimes is I don't show enough of the whole piece. So I'm going to go ahead and take a back angle here and give you a shot of the entire piece. And you just give me a second, I'll go ahead and take off the jaw and show you how it looks like under there. In just one second. Alright, I went ahead and removed the jaw. And uh, so you can get a better look, I'm going to try to give you a look right upside there. It is actually completely finished and sculpted in there. Let me see if I can give you a better angle. There we go. And as those familiar with the story know, uh, Malik's jaw was removed in a lightsaber battle with Darth Revan. So this gives you the choice of displaying it with or without. And uh, here, take a, I just put it right here on the base. Give you a little close up of it. It's very easy to put on. So it just goes ahead, goes over the side, and is easily snapped on. This will give you a little better detail of the face with the jaw removed. And again, these are limited to 900. Again, it's a PBM exclusive, um, which basically means they're the distributor. So anyone who distributes PBM items can pick it up. So you'll be able to get this at various online stores and retailers. The pre-order went up for it actually several months ago. Um, and with a run of 900, I don't know how many more are going to be out there. But if you are a premium guild member, you will be able to uh, get your hand on a limited amount of these about 30 days after a mass release. And this is set to come out, I believe, around the end of September. So look for it soon. And thanks for checking out yodasnews.com and gentlegiantcollectors.com.